Hi, boys and girls. How are you? This is your coach, Noel, and I'm so excited to be working with you today on this math lesson. Parents, welcome. Boys and girls, let's go ahead and let's get started, okay? Awesome. So, what we're doing today is we're dividing fractions, okay? So, let's go ahead and let's get started. So, here we have 1 half divided by 3 sixteenths. And let's get started with this one. I want you to take notice of the division sign because we're going to do something with that. And I want you to take notice of the 3 sixteenths because we're going to do something with that as well. What do we do with them? Well, we're going to drop down that 1 half. We're going to change that division to a multiplication. And then we're going to switch these two numbers. So the 3 is going to become the denominator. The 16 is going to become the numerator. And once I do that, then I have to see if anything can cancel out. Can we cross cancel out anything? So I look at the 2 and the 16 and the 1 and the 3. Can 2 go into 16? Yes, it can. How many times can it go into it? 8 times. Can 1 go into 3? Yes, it can. 3 times. We're not going to do anything there, okay? So let's go ahead and let's cross that 2 out. That 2 is going to become a 1. Let's cross that 16 out that 16 is going to become an 8. 2 goes into 16 8 times. That's why I crossed out that 2, that will become a 1, and then I crossed out that 16, that's going to become an 8. And once I do that, then I can multiply straight across. 1 times 8 is going to be 8. 1 times 3 is going to be 3. So we have 8 thirds. But because I have 8 thirds, my numerator is larger than my denominator, this is going to be a mixed number. So what do I do? I do 8 divided by 3. So I always like to put my pretend multiplication sign. 3 goes into 8 2 times. 3 times 2 is 6. 8 minus 6 is 2. So our whole number is going to be this one here, this 2, right there. And then our numerator is going to be this 2. And our denominator will be the 3. So in this case, our mixed number is going to be 2 and 2 thirds. 8 thirds equals 2 and 2 thirds, okay? So let's go ahead and take a look at the next example. Our next example is 1 fourth divided by 16 fifths, okay? <clears throat> Pardon me. What I'm going to do with this division sign, I'm going to change that to a multiplication. Remember, I'm going to switch these two numbers. So the 16 is going to become the denominator. The 5 is going to become the numerator. I just switch them around. That's all I got to do. My next step is I need to see, can I cross cancel anything out? Can I cross cancel the 1 and the 16 or the 4 and the 5? Well, the 4 and the 5, they're not multiples of each other, so I can't do anything there. And the 1 and the 16, it'll just go into a 16 times, so I'm not going to do anything with that either. So now what I do is I multiply straight across. 1 times 5 is 5. I put the 5 there. And now 4 times 6. Okay? And this is really important, boys and girls. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to move this to the side because I don't want to make a silly mistake. Yeah, can I multiply 16 times 4? Probably. But I don't want to make a mistake. And I want to get you guys into the good habits. So having good habits means that I'm just going to move to the side. I'm just going to take another minute just to get this done and make sure that I multiply it correctly because I don't want you making silly mistakes. We don't want that. We want you to just get into good habits. We want you to get the right answer. So let's move it to the side. 16 times 4. 6 times 4 is 24. 2 there, 4 there. 4 times 1 is 4 plus 2 is 6. 64. So now I have 5 64 The reason I have this circled is because I have to see is there a way that I can reduce it? And there isn't. 5 cannot go into 64, okay? They're not multiples of each other. So the answer is going to be 5 64 And that's it, boys and girls. Not bad, right? Things to take note of. We change our division sign to multiplication, and then the number here on the right, we just switch the numbers. The, the numerator will become the denominator, and the denominator will become the numerator. And that's it. And then we have to cross-cancel, see if we can cross-cancel anything out. 
and if we can great if we can't great and then we have to just multiply straight across we multiply straight across get an answer and then we see if we can reduce and that's it pretty easy right boys and girls great if you find this to be a little bit confusing still don't worry watch this lesson over and over until you feel comfortable and what's really going to help you is actually delving in and working on those practice problems your parents have a PDF file of 20 pages worth of practice problems so you can divide fractions and believe me after you do a few of them this is going to be a piece of cake but let me remind you of a couple things number one if you need help go back to this video watch it you can watch it as often as you like number two you have 20 pages worth of practice problems and please don't try to do them all at once take your time okay let's get this right let's practice good habits okay do one to two pages a week you've got plenty of practice problems to do and there's other things that you have to work on as well remember that okay so let's do one thing at a time let's get strong on all these concepts and math is going to be a breeze for you I promise you parents I want to thank you and boys and girls we'll see you very very soon at our next math lesson with that said everyone please take care and bye bye